So, SAO's new arc, Unitor Ring, has its first two volumes out, and I wanted to make this video to give them what my thoughts are so far on this new arc. In the first volume, before we're even introduced to the name Unitor Ring, we are first in Kirito's point of view. He's with Asuna and Alice in the log cabin on the 22nd, on the 27th, 22nd floor of New Eingrad. And while they're in there, all of a sudden some things start shaking like an earthquake. So they leave outside and they see that Eingrad is literally, like parts of Eingrad are falling apart. And it's not until they realize that the entire castle of Eingrad is falling out of the sky. And their log cabin is was is breaking off of it. And so the very first parts of this first volume involve them trying to save this precious memory that at least Kirito is doing it more for Asuna. Because she knows how devastated she would be if, if this log cabin was were, were to be, you know, destroyed. And so they all kind of find a way to like angle it or shift it in a way to where it would land into this like pool of water they, they see at the bottom and it does sustain some damage when it finally does land and then around that time or i think as they're falling somewhere somewhere in that that's where you first learn the learn of the game yundle ring or at least the words yundle ring are, are brought up to them in the chapters that are from their point of view, these three, it is mainly trying to save this their log cabin using the new mechanics of this weird game that they're all, they're all of a sudden thrown into, which I will get into in, in a bit. So that's mainly from their point of view, but there are other chapters that are from Silica and Lisbeth's point of view, where they are learning about the NPCs that are in this new game and how um you can't understand that shit what they say and coming from this and yui is the one that is able to translate for them for all of them and what she says is that it's what they're hearing is mainly a um kind of it's in it is japanese that is like has like a bunch of like layers and layers over it. So it sounds like nonsense. It sounds like electronic nonsense, essentially. And there will be more about the languages coming up in the second in the in the second you know, ring novel. That's mainly the for the characters that the main characters that you see in the first volume. Now let's go into what Yundle Ring actually is. We truly don't know yet what Yundle Ring is or what or basically why it was why it's even happening but we do know that it is all of the game all of the games that are connected to the world seed alo included even though it came out before the world seed was made available but it got connected to the world seed after after all the fairy dance stuff so it is technically still connected to the world seed so it's everything connected to the world seed Basically combining into one game, essentially, including the players. That so far that is what it's seeming like. And now as for and now it is what this game is, it is basically a survival RPG kind of game. Which completely threw Kirito off. Threw Kirito off <laughs> Because all of a sudden they have HP, MP, and then they have two more little ring bars called TP and SP. TP being thirst, and SP being stamina or or um, hunger and that kind of stuff. So it's and it's kind of like uh, the game is literally based kind of like um, uh, you know the game The Forest without too much. Without not connecting the storyline, but it's mechanic-wise kind of like the forest. 
that's the best comparison I can make. If you can think of a better comparison, then let me you know in the comments. So this first volume is kind of said telling you that it is basically setting up that it is a survival game involving a lot of a lot of minute crafting that you wouldn't normally see in an RPG. Like you would have to build, you have to build little parts of a sword. Oh well, no, 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 not of a sword. Of like, you would have to build like a stick, and then you would have to build. Then you would have to sharpen a rock, and then you had to find like find rope or something and put them together. And like, like it's that kind of game. Which ever throws a bunch of people off. But they eventually get the hang of it. And also, whatever max skill you have, or if you have multiple max skills, at least one of those gets brought with you over to it. And from whatever game you're from. And it gets lowered to, from like, say, the max A is a, th is a thousand. And ALO. A -L -O, and it gets lowered to a hundred. Which seems like a very big deal, but it's all like a very bad thing. But it's also the only skill, only like high levels, high like higher level skill. Everything else is just like basic level one, rank one, whatever. But it'll be at like a hundred for this one specific skill. Also, some of the items that you would have, they had, was brought over with them, like weapons, armor. But there was this like. I forget how many hours, two, I don't know how many hours it was, there was a certain amount of time, there was a grace period for being able to use them before like a weight limit kind of thing happened. So, and after that, they couldn't use their most powerful weapons anymore. So eventually they had, they had to like make a bunch of clothes, new basic weapons, all kinds of stuff. But of course they first went to repair the lock cabin which actually did get damaged in that fall that was the main thing with this first novel is them trying to keep the lock cabin from deteriorating any more than it already got deteriorated by that fall one last thing about this novel is that this first novel is that at the very very end you get a surprise character return of argo who is will appear more in this next volume speaking of that let's continue with the what the next volume is okay the sec okay this second volume of yundle ring it has it is partly sinon's experience with yundle ring of her being transferred in from gg from gungo line every kind of basically every other chapter is basically her point of view of her coming into yundle ring and figuring out what yundle ring is and meeting her own set of NPCs and learning all the different things about this game. But but by the end, they do reunite around like chapter eight or nine of the, of the volume. They finally meet, meet up together. And that's when it, it stops the whole her point of view, character's point of view, and that kind of thing. And also within this, it's kind of, it literally based, starts off with Sinon. In the first chapter, I think. Yeah. And then the second chapter is where we pick up about Argo and Ar and actually kind of learn and learning Argo's real name, which is Tomo Hosaka, and introducing her to all to his and Kirito his and Asuna's Asin, friends. Who that who know of some of them like Soka and Lisbeth know of Argo, because of SEO, but they actually never met her. There's only Kirito and Asuna that have ever actually, of this group, that have actually m met or have, you know, seen Argo, met Argo, or kind of friends with Argo. <laughs> and Argo is still Argo with their fantastic personality. So yeah, you learn a bit more about Argo and about what happened with her and what's happened and happening with her after SEO. And okay, that's essentially a some a, a basic summary of this. There's a lot there is a lot that happens in it, but there that's like a basic summary of this. A lot of and regarding what about what it does for Yundle Ring, it kind of expands on the mechanics that are shown showing us the skill tree, which is 
immense, and magic crystals, which is how you get magic in the game. Like get your magic spells and such that you can't that are that you could get that could uh, that are like trans could be transferred for trans over transferred over from like ALO or whatever RPG they were what what other VR RPG they're from it kind of, it comes over with with the character with the characters but the, but they're disabled until you get a magic crystal to unlock the those abilities and then there's a little funny little note about that about what about who gets the magic crystal but that'll but i'll explain that later in a little bit what else this this volume does is it expands the world of it with a new map and it it shows that there are different npc villages not just the one village that they found that they saw in the first volume there's all these different RPG, not RPG, NPC villages slash NPC races with their own language. I don't know. It could be the same language all throughout, or it could just be, or it could be different languages. I don't know yet. It hasn't really made that clear. And with that, Sinon kind of gets some, learns some of the language. It's kind of like a proficiency thing where there's one character that does have no their actual native language and can do like a translation like of certain words proficiency goes up and she and Simon can start hearing more and more of what they're actually saying so that's how the language kind of thing language kind of works in the game it's another kind of proficiency thing like everything is all about proficiency and getting things like profici proficiency of this plus one proficiency of this plus one like it's con like you see you'll you'll see that constantly throughout the these uh, two novels, and and to go back to the magic crystal, the one they they get the magic crystals by def defeating boss monsters that have these magical abilities, and apparently you like bite into it like hard candy apparently, and then and to get the I don't know why that's just how it is, but the person that gets it is Yui. As you can see her <laughs> here, she breathes fire. <laughs> now, okay, she doesn't actually breathe fire. It just happened the, at the moment where she like bit down on the magic crystal. She breathed fire for a little, for a sec, like a second or two, and that was it. But she gained a an actual magical ability. Yui actually gets, is actually gonna be f fighting along with the characters instead of just being like, a navigation pixie or just being like an AI with a super computer for a brain. <laughs> so yeah, overall I am enjoying this new art so far and there is this sort of theme going on of like a group of PKers that attack the their home, the log, the log cabin. And at least one of them, this has happened twice, once in each of the novels, at least one of them in each group knows Kirito and they're presumably both sent from this mysterious character that they call that these two people called sensei call they call this person sensei like a sensei of PKing of player killing and potentially the people of the underworld might be joining in because it was kind of teased that they might be coming back in the in the afterward of volume twenty three, Ricky Ricky Kawahara said in the afterward that they might may be making a return. So this th this arc, Yuno Ring, it has the chance to be even bigger than Alicization was. And that was ten volumes of for an arc. Already there are like five total of Yuno Ring so far. Only two of them are translated right now, but there are five total so far. So this has a chance of being even bigger than Alice's. And I am all for that. <laughs>